Governor Jeff Landry has already signed numerous bills into law during the current regular legislative session. One of those bills will require every high school coach to be certified in CPR and AED training. Colin Bedros takes a look at a law that gives student athletes and coaches in Louisiana an important resource. On January 2nd, 2023, the world watched as Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin's heart stopped as he went into cardiac arrest while trying to make a tackle. In Avoles Parish on August 25th, Bunky High School quarterback Dylan Compton fell victim to a medical emergency on the field with off-duty EMTs coming to Compton's rescue as he suffered heat exhaustion. The fact that those guys were able to come over and, and start working on him immediately, I think, is, you know, made all the difference, you know, for that young man, not only for his life, but, you know, for his aspirations as a football player. Now, a bill that was recently signed by Governor Jeff Landry will look to create more positive outcomes when health emergencies arrive during a high school sporting event. Under Senate Bill 54, starting in the 2025-26 school year, any high school employee serving as a coach for the school shall obtain and maintain certifications in CPR, first aid, and use of an automatic external defibrillator or AED. We just want to make sure that we have uh, folks in places in schools. If we allow that opportunity for kids to participate, uh, we should be prepared. Uh, in the event that a, a incident occurs. And so what my bill simply does is provide training uh, for those coaches uh, to do so. Um, our stats have increased that to, uh, 23,000 kids under the age of 18 will experience a new onset cardiac arrest and 40% of those happen at sporting events. Um, this really leaves our children at risk to having something so medically emergent without someone being prepared to enact a plan. In the bill, the legislature's intent is to not create an unfunded mandate on any city, parish, or school board. SB 54 provides for either legislature appropriated funds or for grants or other private donations to be made to the school so that the implementation takes place. Have you thought about the non-faculty CCP coaches and how does that play into your legislation? I do think, and I can speak to this as a non-faculty CSEP coach, mm -hmm. um, we are included as a coaching staff mm -hmm. in majority of our train and all of the trainings that are required for all coaches. To help prevent another life-threatening situation from happening to a student athlete. The measure was signed as Act 95 by Governor Landry on May 21st. The law will now go into effect on August 1st. Covering the legislature for News Channel 5, I'm Colin Vidros.